Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna have another tutorial for you guys in which I'm gonna show you how to manipulate CSGO death notices in your GoTV demos. So the first thing you'll need is of course Counter-Strike and then this program right here which is called HLE and you can download it at this link right here which I will put in the description below as well. Then you just go to the screen part and click on this. Then you download the zip file. And once you have downloaded it, it will be in your downloaded folder or whichever folder you set it to download into. So when you have it downloaded, just drag it out to your desktop or something. And now what you're going to do is make a new folder. Just call it, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it CSGO movie making or something. Yeah, and once you have that, just double click on this. <clears throat> then just press Control A and it will mark all the files and then just drag it into your folder that you just made. Now you're just gonna launch uh, HLE. Just press yes on this. Go to tools, custom loader and then you'll get this up. Now just find this file right here. And then press open. Now we're going to find CSGO, so just go to uh, whichever drive you have Steam on and then just go to Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common and then Counter-Strike and then you have the program right here. Click Open on that and then just press OK and CSGO will start. So as you can see now CSGO has opened and you will get this Valve anti-cheat message because you have launched the game in an insecure mode from an outside Steam program. So don't worry about that. Now you're gonna go to your demos uh, and just pick the demo you want to record in. So I'm just gonna simply take this ace right here and try to manipulate the death notices in this demo. So now once you're in the demo, you're gonna find the ID of the player which you want to manipulate the death notices on. So first thing you want to do is just write merv underscore death message debug one. So this is the first command you want to type in and then just hit enter. And now we're just going to play through the demo and we will see the IDs popping up. So I'm just going to fast forward this part. And you can see he just got a kill right there. As you can see, it is three death notices right here. And it is three right here as well. So he has the ID of three. So when you have found his ID, just type in merv underscore death message block. And then an uh, exclamation mark. And then the ID. And then the space. And uh, this fucking star sign right here. So just press enter on that and now uh, all the other death notices except this guys are blocked so it is only this id which is shown when the demo plays which is this guy we want now we can just reset the round and uh, now we're gonna set the time for the death notices, which we will do by typing merv underscore death message CFG notice life time and then the number of seconds you want the death notice to show. So in this case, it's not that long uh, between the kills, so I'm just gonna type 100 for that. So I'm sure it will stay on the screen. So now you can just type uh, CL draw only death notices one and we can play the demo. And you will see that there's only that one guy's death notices that will show. You can see on top of the screen there you can see it is only his death notices that is showing 
because we blocked all the others and we set the time to be 100 seconds, which is more than enough in this case. And you can also highlight these uh, death notices by typing a simple command, which is merv underscore death message again, highlight ID, and then the ID of the player you want to highlight. So in this case, three. Then we just play the demo again. <clears throat> And now these death messages are showing because this is what he got the last round. So what we'll do to fix that is just write the notice lifetime uh, command once again, but with a zero and then restart the round and then type in a hundred again. So now I'm gonna speed it up again. And you can now see that the death notices are now highlighted. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and if it helped you out, please leave a like and please consider subscribing. And peace out.